If you are a C-sharp developer and you're using NeoVim along with Mason for your packages and your DLLs, then you might have seen this one recently. You've seen that there's an update for the Roslyn language server. And along with that update comes a deprecation for the Razor language server. And when you go on the GitHub page of Roslyn.nvim, then you see that right now we have Razor NCS HTML support. And we are advised that if you previously used the Razor language server, please uninstall it. And when I go on my other machine, and you see, I have two windows. I have one of my example Blazor project here for demonstration, and I have my NeoBIM configuration. And I'm going to do exactly as I'm advised on GitHub. And I'm going to delete everything that is Razor language server. So I go into my plugins, uh, plugins init Lua, and I kick out, I have here the rows and NeoBIM configuration, and from past tutorials, you know that this one, all of this here, is necessary to get Razor support in. And we can now kick everything out. We don't need options. Oops. And this is, oopsies. And this is how your lazy configuration for Roslim looks like now. Next thing is we're gonna uninstall, I think I already did. Uninstall the Razor, yeah, it's already uninstalled. I don't have the package on my system anymore. And remember, then when we go to the uh, LSP config Lua, then we had this one line. I think, yeah, it was only this. For Roslyn, the LSP config only looks like this. This is the default configuration. And according to Tris203, this should work. If I now go back to my C-sharp project, my Blazor project, I open this. Uh, first, I have the program CS. It still looks fine. The sharp support is there, and you see everything looks good in program CS. But when I now open the counter, then I get this one dash 32,000 attempted to retrieve a document, but a text document was found instead. And this is because Roslyn couldn't find the DLLs necessary to compile Razor. And therefore, we get this error. Although, we installed Roslyn and updated with Mason and we have the files on our systems. So when I now go and hit LS and I hit the file path where Mason puts the packages in, which is local share, any of them Mason packages, Roslyn, and now we have libexec.raise extension. Then you see we have all the files. It's all on the system, but Roslyn cannot find it. So therefore what we're going to do is we're going to go into the documentation and somewhere here we have the compo composition. Yeah, there we go. Composing the command for Roslyn. And we go for the Mason instructions. So since Roslyn for some reason cannot find the file path or cannot find the DLLs, those ones right here, we have to pass this in directly to the command table. Problem with this particular instructions here is that it is obsolete. Th those don't work anymore. Part of that is number one, this is one is not needed anymore. The file path changed. There's no Razor extension directory anymore. And also there is no Razor language server directory anymore. So this one will not work. But, I'm gonna scroll down my tutorial. I already, where is it? Yeah, there we go. I already corrected what we get in this section right here. And the corrected version looks like this. So I now just copy this one, go back to my machine, go back to my even configuration, into my plugins in it Lua, and replace the Rose and Envim section that is pretty small now with the big one that passes in the libraries directly into the Roslyn command. So now if I go back to my uh, Sharp project, open it again, again, open the program CS. Everything looks fine. Open the counter. Then you see we have the same thing. We get the same error, it didn't change. And this is because I have it on my page. The problem is this path right here, this, this part right here, the, 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 the Mason, the Mason environment variable. And there's actually a little problem with that. When I go now and open the GitHub page, there's an issue for that, or at least a question or something. The environment variable Mason is not loaded until NeoVim is fully initialized. When I go back 
in the moment we needed right here to pass the path of the DLL into the Rosalind command, it's empty. Mason is empty. So the way to get around this, I go to the solution area right here, is that instead of using the environment variable, we go and get the install root directory, which is a um, command baked into Mason. This one right here has the same effect as the, where is it? This one. Yeah. So this is what we're going to do now. I copy all of this and as you see, this is the LSP config Lua. So I'm going to return my NeoVim configuration from, from this one right here, from the big one. Da, 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 da. Back to the small minimal configuration. I'm going to my LSP config. And this one line is not enough anymore. I take the this block right here, put that in, and see that I can set the command where I pass in the DLL path directly. Now I'm going to save this one, go back to my Blazor project, close everything, open everything, go to counter. And now you see, you see, it looks better. Rosalind project initialization complete. And if I go, no, that was with the mouse, that was bad. That was so bad. Anyways, I changed this. See, I changed the method name. And now it's not recognized anymore. And now I get LSP support. So now Razor files are working with Roslyn. And just for the record, you could also, you don't need this one necessarily. For the Razor language server path, for this local right here, you could also pass in the absolute path to this directory. And it would work the same way. It's just it's just not very very clean because of course, like this is Linux stuff. <laughs> On Windows, you have different file paths. On Mac, I think as well. So the cleanest solution is to work with the, the mason.settings package or plugin module. So now we got this working. Just as a reminder, I go back to the config. We have a minimal lazy package configuration, plugin configuration. And all we do in the LSP config is we pass in the command with the correct file paths. And then I found out something interesting. So I played around a little bit with the thing and then I found out that actually I don't need the commands. I don't need the, the these options right here. I can also simply get rid of all of this because in the moment I execute or access the install underscore root underscore directory field from the Mason settings module, I do believe my suspicion is that in that moment, the Mason environment variable, where is it? This one right here is actually set and provided. If I go back to my machine, again, I with these changes, I go back to Blazor, close, close, ding. open again, open counter. It still it works, still it works. So we have much less code. We don't pass in DLL paths anymore. So I do believe something internally happens. I don't know what it is exactly. I didn't look into code too much, but yeah, this line above of the default LSP config for Roslyn is absolutely enough along with the minimal Roslyn.nvim configuration that you find right here to get everything going. So as you see right here, this is the according issue on GitHub under the Roslim NVIM repository. And I have to say much, much, much thanks to Tris203. Uh, really, man, you're great. You're great. Instant replies to my requests. And yeah, thank you so much for debugging and finding out that it was a path problem. Here's the solution for that. And yeah, for, for anyone who has the same problem, I was able to fix it the exact same way as I showed you on Fedora, Arch, and Ubuntu. That was it for today. Have a good week. Bye-bye.